In the following sequoia demonstration, we're going to take a look at the batch conversion of point files. In the main menu, I'll select the batch option and then convert point files. Now I can pick one or more files to convert. And of course I can keep on adding files later by clicking the Add Input Files button. Alternatively, um, you can also drop files from the File Explorer into the user interface of Sequoia and this is going to open the same dialog. The two files here contain exactly the same point clouds, however they have different extensions and different uh, file formats and um, the one has metadata that describes the input units, the column mapping and the precision info. This is the bounding box size and the distance from the origin with more details in the tooltip. But uh, the XYZ doesn't have this data and the entries that are in red prevent this entry from uh, uh, converting. So we would have to specify them manually. In this case we know that the unit should be meters and for the column mapping we need to create a preset that describes which column goes where. I already have a preset here which takes the first six columns and maps them to position XYZ and color RGB. Uh, but the seventh column that exists in this file, which is the intensity, wasn't remapped here. So let's go and create a new preset. And in the dialog, in order to save myself some time, I'm going to pick the already created preset in order to remap the R, G and B. And I just need to specify the intensity. I could preview more rows in order to know what the data is, but in this case it's clear. I just have to give this a name and I'll call it position, color, intensity. Now we have all seven columns mapped, which would uh, save the complete file uh, to SPAT. And if I select this preset, a smaller SPAT file will be created, which has only position and color, but no intensity. Let's uh, keep this uh, with intensity. Uh, since both files um, have exactly the same name, we have to be careful and make sure that the uh, dollar sign source uh, token, which uh, basically means take the original file name and just replace the extension, is modified with um, a suffix. For example, we can go and say this will be with the suffix XYZ because it's coming from the XYZ file, and this from the E57 will be just using. The original file name. We also don't have any precision info. This is just a warning because uh, we can still specify the precision manually. But if we want to know automatically which precision mode would be good for this file, we can update this data either by pressing the refresh all precision info button, which would find all the entries on the list that don't have precision and run a task for each one of them, loading the points and calculating bounding box and distance from the origin. Or we can uh, select the specific entry and press the Refresh Precision Info button that will refresh only the selected one. Once the task is done, we have the data and it's even slightly more precise than the uh, original uh, metadata in the E57 file. But they're approximately the same and uh, using the uh, target precision and the Suggest button, we could recalculate different settings or specify manually double precision if you wanted to. An additional option that we have is to create a, a point loader from that data and uh, we could uh, check this option for the E57 source. So we'll say create E57 from this data. And uh, we uh, have also the option to merge multiple files into a single one. In this case, it makes no sense since both contain exactly the same point cloud. Uh, but if you have multiple scans that uh, belong into a single file, checking the option single uh, output file would work. An option to submit to deadline also exists and this would allow us to send a job to the network to uh, process each of those files on a different machine. But in this case, we'll be running parallel tasks on a single workstation. We just have to press the Convert button. Now this is going to create a point loader, which will preview the E57, since the SPT file doesn't exist yet. 
and we have uh, a task which is converting the E57 to SPT and we have a second task that is converting the XYZ figuring out right now whether it should save it in core or out of core because it doesn't know the exact number of points in the file so the E57 is converted and now the XYZ is also being written through its own separate file and we have the uh, E57 which tells us that uh, the original cache that was uh, found when the loader was created um, didn't match the, the data we can check this check button for load SPT cache and now it actually compares and says yes now they match because the conversion actually produced a new file based on the E57 and now it's up to date as you can see with the batch conversion tool uh, you can process multiple uh, point files at once and also create the corresponding loaders uh, in order to see what the data looks like